Okay, in this lesson we are going to learn slash review adding and subtracting polynomials. So we're going to start with this example here. We notice we have this polynomial plus this one. Sometimes students get confused with the parentheses being around here. Um, please note that you can drop parentheses if there is nothing in front of the quantity. Now technically there is a one here. Okay, so if you think of distributing one and multiplying each term by one, you're of course gonna get the same set of terms. Uh, likewise over here, there's just a one in front, multiply that in, you get the same terms. So it's important to note here that in this case you can drop the parentheses, and that may help some of you um, to proceed in the problem. So we have three x squared minus four x minus three plus a negative x squared, notice one times negative x squared would just give us that, plus five x plus seven, okay? Um, once you drop those parentheses, then it's a matter of combining your like terms. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this in color, but you can do this just in pencil and just make different shapes like, like this. Um, I like to start with the terms with the highest power. Uh, so this is three x squared. Notice I also have a negative x squared. It may help you to recognize and put in here that this is a negative 1x squared. And so I know that I can combine these terms since they are both x squared terms. And that's going to give me 3x squared minus 1x squared is 2x squared. Okay? Then I'm going to look for other like terms. Now again, I have a color to use, but you could just use a different shape like this. I'm going to put a box around negative 4x and a box around positive 5x. Notice that I included the sign in, uh, in the box because that is part of the term. So now I know that I have uh, 5x's here and then I'm subtracting 4x there. So that's going to leave me with a positive x. Again, you can write a one in front if that helps you, or you can just leave it as plus x. And lastly, I have um, negative three, and I have a positive seven. So these can also be combined because they're both constants. And that's gonna leave me with uh, seven minus three. It's gonna leave me with positive four. And so this is the sum or the total of the two polynomials that we started with up here. All right, let's go ahead and give you a problem that you can try on your own. Um, so this time, um, I'm gonna have you try this one, okay? So we have in parentheses again, we have negative four x cubed plus two x squared minus nine plus two times five x squared plus four. Okay, I would like for you to pause the video and try this on your own paper. Okay, so hopefully you've tried this already. Um, hopefully you notice that because there's a one out here, we can drop the first set of parentheses because one times each of these terms is just going to be itself. So that might have been the first step you made. Um, also, hopefully you notice that there's a two out here, so we would have to distribute <clears throat> the two. And so that's gonna give us two times five x squared is 10 x squared. Two times four is plus eight, okay? So once we took care of um, the parentheses by either dropping them or distributing the number in, now again, we're in the situation where we wanna combine like terms. So I'm gonna start with, um, I notice I like to go to my highest term first, and I notice this is the only x cubed term that I have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this down. When you write your final answer, you wanna make sure it's in standard form, which means the highest power is written first and then um, the next highest power and so on. Now for the next highest power, I notice I have a positive two x squared and I also have a positive 10x squared. So when I combine these, I have a total of positive 12x squared. Then when I look at my constants here, I have a negative nine and a positive eight. So when I combine those, I'm going to have um, 
a negative 1. And so again, my final answer, known as my sum or my total of the two polynomials at the top, is equal to this polynomial here.